All right, so I decided to split this up into two parts and just make this part a little more concise. Um, you know, the first part we just kind of covered the styling and the review of the actual radio and the ergonomics of it. But this is really going to cover the programming uh, of this radio. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews and people, you know, in forums and saying this is just a really hard radio to program. Um, I personally think it's probably one of the easiest uh, to program myself. Uh, having owned quite a few Yesu radios. So I'm going to show you the, the two ways to do it. The first way is going to probably be the way the manual will tell you to do it, uh, but just as a refresher, and I'll show you how easy that is. But there is some, there, there is some quirks to it. Um, and then I'm going to show you a really quick uh, shortcut uh, way to, to program this radio, when, especially when you're doing a lot of programming. Let's say you Get a brand, get this radio new, and you got a program in your local area. It's just gonna, you're gonna sit down and do it. I have some shortcuts uh, to help you with that. So, the first way, first you go into repeater book. I'll, I'll just kind of mock this up for you. Let's turn this on. Let's just say we go into a repeater, okay? Uh, let's look at the, oh, the W7 OTV repeater, very common repeater around the area, okay? Your, uh, your repeater frequency is simply, and I'm, I'm in, by the way, I'm in VFO mode, okay? So I already have a lot of repeaters programmed in here. So this is memory mode. This bottom button goes to VFO, you hit it again, very simple, okay? Then you have your band and you can, you know, a wide FM receive, this is just broadcast radio, and then you have your two meter and your 70 centimeter. But it'll, you don't need to do any of that. You can just type in the frequency you want and it'll figure it out. <clears throat> So let's type in 146960, oh, okay. Uh, and then, so it automatically goes into two meter. Uh, you see the minus symbol right there. Can you see that? So this, all Yesu, or most Yesus, most modern Yesus have uh, ARS, which is automatic repeater shift built into the radio. So you don't have to mess around like with a Baofeng and program in your repeater shift, simplex, positive and minus. Does it automatically, you can verify uh, by looking at uh, your repeater book here. And is it negative offset? Yes, it is. Um, so that's correct. Uh, then you'll want to set a tone. This one, in this case, its tone is uh, 127.3. So to get into this, the standard way, hold down your menu button, okay? Uh, and then you're gonna go to, I think it's 29. Scroll down. And what you have to do is set your squelch type. That is 29, okay? Can you see that? Can you see 29? Let me zoom this in a little bit just so you can kind of see what I'm doing here when it gets detailed. So now you're gonna you're gonna short press 29, and then you have your up and down keys. Now it's it's correct right now. It's on T tone, or this is just a standard tone. Then you have reverse tone, off, pager feature, DCS. That's another common one in some areas uh, with some repeaters. Sorry, I'm getting the glare. I'll try to minimize that for you. Uh, but in this case, and then reverse tone right there. In this case, it's T-tone, okay? We're gonna save out T-tone. So we tap it once, we go back out of the menu. It is saved, you can verify it by tapping it again. It stays on T-tone, back out, and then hold down, okay? Now, well, actually, I, I backed out too far. I backed out too quick. So that sets T-tone. Now, now you have to set uh, what, <laughs> you have to tell it that there's a tone and then you have to set that tone frequency. Let me verify this again to show you. And that tone frequency is now 127.3. So now you gotta go back up to this menu, through the menu to the C's, right? It's in alphabetical, so C, T, C, S, S, tones, tap once, okay? Now, I've been programming a lot on this and I typically turn my, re my receive to off unless the repeater specifies it. Otherwise, I just leave it off. Uh, and it's, I'm really more concerned about the transmit tone. Can you see that? So now that I'm in the menu, I light, I single, light, you know, I short press, and then I can simply turn that on. And we can go to, again, our tone right here. Face recognition annoying, 127.3. So let's go up to 127.3, short press, and that saves it. Long press backs me out to the menu. Long press again backs me out and it is now saved. Let's key it up real quick. Welcome to the W7OTV ah. repeater. W7OTV repeater. KF7JSM clear. So I just 
keyed that up legally. FCC rules there. Um, somebody may come back. You never know. You never know. Okay, so the next logical step, once you have your repeater programmed in the way you want it, and it is working, it's operational, you've verified that, next logical step is to save it. So you hold down the VM key, hold it down. Try to do this with no glare. Now, you can now pick something. I'm going to save it over, well, I'm gonna, I'll save a new one just so I can show you. I'll save it under, under memory 65, okay? But before I hit, hold this down again, to lock that frequency into that memory bank, it gives me the option to put an alpha tag on there if I choose. So in this case, I want to name this W7OTV. That's the repeater name. So you just hit your W, and then to advance it, short press, it advances it, W7, advance, and then you go O, old school kind of texting thing, and then you advance T, T, and then you advance one more, and and then you're good okay now to save it hold down vm long hold and memory and it gives you that beep hopefully the glare isn't too bad but that's the that's kind of the long way of doing it doing it this is how i do it when i'm programming a lot of stuff i'm in memory mode i want to be in vfo mode again let's uh let's do something in the 70 centimeter side uh, but before we do that let's set this thing up uh to uh, let's set, remember I talked about the shortcut keys over here in the first video. So these are the shortcut keys. Let's use them. All right, so short press of the function key and P3. Do you remember that one? That's set mode, T-tone. That sets your tones. T-squelch, reverse end. Remember that? So it gives you... It's, it's hard programmed into this radio. You can't change that, the function and the P3. That's in the radio permanently, okay? Right? Sorry, the glare is so bad. I'm trying to get this good here. I'm trying to pay attention here. But <clears throat> we want to add to this. So let's back out. Okay, and when, when you're in these little short menus, like that one, to back out, you just hit your function key once. Now, sometimes the function feature will stay up and you have to hit it again and zero it out. That's fine. But let's go into our menu, hold down, our, our, our legit menu here. So 29, let's go back up to CTCSS, like we had before. Remember, we were programming that in. That's the other thing you have to program in once you know you have a tone, very common. So there it is right there. Let's go into that menu and let's go in one more to the point where you're actually going, you can actually make adjustments, okay? That's where you wanna be. Now, take your shortcut key, P3 in this case. It doesn't, doesn't matter which one, but I'm gonna do it in P3 just cause it's, you know, similar. So I'm gonna hold that down. It's saved, okay? Now I'm in CTSS set mode eight, okay? Let's back out, just normal. Let's back out of the menu, back out of the menu. Okay, so I'll show you how this workflow goes right now. All right, for instance, let's just show you real quick how this works. So, four, four, two, seven hundred, okay? Four, four, two, seven hundred, offset positive, correct. Uh, 100 tone, okay, let's make sure our tone is good. I know it's the same tone, so tone is in there, I can see that. All you have to do is hit that button. Uh, and change that to 100. Come on, 100, and hold, push it twice. You're done. Okay. KF7 JSM testing. Afternoon. K7L. Oh. A repeater. The time is 16. 16. Yeah, it's never wrong. KF7 JSM clear. So, you can't really hit that repeater very well, anyways, and it's not very well maintained. So now you have, you're still in you're still in VFO. You want to save it. It's the same process as before. Hold that down, name it or don't name it, and just hold it down, and you're done. But that is the workflow. It's so simple, you know. I do a lot of these things where I just go through, I go through repeater book just to make sure repeaters are working. Um, this one does not look like it has a tone. It might be digital. Uh, Four forty one fifty does not say it has a tone, so I don't know. So in that case, what you have to do is turn your tone off. Short press, P3. Let's turn tone off just for fun. See, I'll show you what that looks like. And here's your workflow. Tap and you're out. Done, saved, it's ready to go, okay? Memory save. Let's, let's just check it to see if it works. KF7 JSM testing. KF7 JSM clear. So it does not work, I figure that. 
Okay, so that is the basic method of how to program in a repeater f and frequencies and tones and that type of stuff. Anything you should need to, to, to know to program in a repeater or even a simplex frequency. Um, that's the long method and the short method. I prefer the short method once I'm set up. Um, but, you know, if you have these things set up for other things once it's programmed, you know, you may want to do the long method if you have to add a couple here and there and you don't want to mess up your shortcut keys because these can literally be anything you want. You know, you can set this number one key. Oh, that's my favorite frequency. Okay, hold it down. Dude, it's in. I go over here. What's it do? Oh, it goes right back to it. I can set it to any menu to do any function on this radio. I can hold those down and program it. I don't think a lot of people explain that very well, but these are very, very useful. So when I'm in programming mode, I program them for shortcuts for my specific area. So um, I hope that kind of helps. Now, just for fun, while, you, while we're in here, let's do a, a uh, the advanced menu. And this is really where this radio, uh, I think, shines. So, uh, kind of funky but you hold down your you turn the radio off hold down the, the the squelch key ptt turn it on let go okay now you're in a secret little menu you scroll over to the menu called f8 it's called dual display tap function key once okay it'll reset okay now check this out this is cool n70xh my that one I just saved, my favorite one. Let's click on that again, N70XH. Now you have the alpha tag and the frequency underneath it. I think that's phenomenal. Now, check this out. And I don't like to program in this mode for various reasons, but once it's programmed, it's awesome to use. Okay, now I have A and B channel. Okay, first click is A, click it again, the B flips, it's B, okay? I don't know if this is advertised or, or not, but um, this is what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to key up on this one. I'll say my call sign legally. Uh, that is the B channel. Now let's do the A channel for fun, real quick. That is 420, okay? Let's just do this real quick. I'm going to put it on low power just, just because we don't, we don't need to do anything. Good ham radio practice, right? Low power, 146420. That's the A frequency. Can you see that? We're gonna key up and, and I'll show you what happens here. And you watch the green light, watch the light on top. KF7 JSM testing, testing. Okay. KF7 JSM clear. Okay. No problem. A channel, it makes sense that it would hear it. Now check this out. Let's go to the B channel, which is 146520. Let's just do 520 real quick. Low power. Oh, 525. Let's. 146520. Let's key up on there. Let's, t let's take a look and see what happens. KF7 JSM testing. KF7 JSM clear. Did you see what happened there? See that little blue light? It turned blue and it listened on the B channel si in real time. So uh, I don't know if that's advertised in this radio, but I think it's pretty cool because you can actually put it a, a you can put a, you know, your favorite repeater. You have to program it in. It does not do memory with A and B, which is kind of a downside. Um, but you can put an emergency services one on there, and it'll, it'll just listen to whatever comes in, okay? Uh, and it does it real time and live. Uh, it does not have a true, obviously, a true dual receive. This, this radio right here is, if I hold this down, I have two frequencies, A and B channel, and I can listen simultaneously two voices coming in, you know, has two receivers. This one has one, but it is listening to A and B simultaneously. It doesn't, it doesn't pause in between or anything. So if you're setting up for an event, you have a simplex frequency and a repeater, you can actually program those in and listen to both. So I think that that is pretty cool. Uh, it will, it will lock in on the first one that it hears and then it'll stay on that until that signal goes away and then it'll flip over to the other one or just listen to it won't do them both at the same time that's the only thing but it is pretty cool to be able to monitor uh, two frequencies and I think that's kind of a neat feature so don't know if that's ever covered I haven't seen anybody talk about that and I saw this blue light come on and it shocked me okay so that is my in-depth review of the Yesu FT65 I hope you guys found that helpful like subscribe share comment do all those cool things it really helps me out gets me motivated to do more um gosh you guys seem to like the ham radio stuff and i i really like radio too so i hope you guys are doing well i will see you on the next one